Hey, what's happening guys? We're going to do a cool little thing with a 555 timer today. I'm going to show you how you can take a 555 timer, set it up in this A-stable multi-vibrator mode, the free running oscillator basically, with a quote unquote perfectly square wave at any frequency you want. And we're only going to use four components, the 555 timer, a little decoupling capacitor, 10K trimmer, and a little variable capacitor. This is the uh, this is the key to the operation right here. Let's see, will it focus? Yeah. A little adjustment in there. So let's set everything up here, and I'll show you how it's going to work. It's super simple. And it's a great way to get yourself a nice little uh, square wave generator. By the way, guys, this video is sponsored by Solder Stick. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation, waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits, spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount. So we have our 555 timer. Pin 8 is our VCC pin. So we'll connect that. To VCC just like so. Then we're going to connect pin 6 to pin 2 for our trigger and pin 4 our reset needs to be held high and pin 5 which is our control voltage pin we're not using so we're just going to put a little 100 nano cap there. And I'm just going to run that to ground. Keeps everything running smoothly. And that's right out of the uh, data sheet for the 555. We're going to need to get some power in here. Like so. Now what I want to do is straighten out this potentiometer so it's in about its 50-50 position. Not something like that. And we're going to place this in pins 6, 7, and 8 with the leftmost pin in position 8. Like so. And we're going to take this capacitor, variable capacitor, and place it in between, in between pins 2 and 1. Just like that. Then we need some way to see the output. So we'll put a little wire here into pin 3. We have a little clip down here for our ground for the oscilloscope. We'll hook up the power. And I'll show you the power supply over here. I'm driving this at 5 volts. So we power it up. Okay, we'll attach the oscilloscope, ground lead up, and our output lead. Now I will show you the oscilloscope, we'll zoom in there, I 
So you can see our frequency is 52.8 kilohertz and our duty cycle is 55%. So let's adjust our frequency. So let's say we want 55 kilohertz. So all I'm gonna do is come over here to our little variable capacitor. Very gently adjust it. There's 55.1 kilohertz. And now I'm gonna adjust the potentiometer for a 50% duty cycle. There we go, 50% duty cycle. Our frequency has dropped off just a little bit. A little tweak there. Going the wrong way. There we go, 50, 50. I would call that a perfectly square wave at what 55 50 kilohertz we do have a little bit of uh ringing there it looks like overshoot i know but if we zoom in you can see here and bring it down so we can get it on the screen yeah look at that Oops. Where'd I go? Yeah, see, that's ringing. And that's probably just from our, our connection there. So let's try it with a different uh, little very cap. Gonna disconnect the ground. We'll take out that little cap. They're not marked with values. You have to have to measure them. This one is this one is blue. I believe it's a smaller value. Connect our power back up. the old auto set button 359 360.2 kilohertz so definitely a smaller capacitor there we go 370 kilohertz and Try and get that duty cycle adjusted. You have your tongue at the right angle. Oh, overshot. I messed it up. All right, try again. Fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-one, fifty-one. 53, 51, 51. Looks like 51 is as close as I can get with this one. It's just a little too hinky messing around with it. Here's something interesting. The higher the frequency, the more power it takes because the other one wasn't registering any power at all. 
but you can see this one is registering five milliwatts. That's interesting. Kind of cool. So I bought a whole selection. You saw in the AliExpress video these little guys. Little variable caps. You can test one here in the tester. Take a look at it. While I'm doing this, let me just say real quick. Currently having a problem getting paid via YouTube. I'm working on a resolution. Till I do. And it's been two months now. Not being paid. So there's a link down below for my Patreon. Buck a month's all I ask. If you don't like Patreon, there's a link you can do a donation through PayPal. If you want to, you don't have to. But I'd appreciate it if you did. So there you see we have a capacitor, 116 picofarad. And let me adjust it a little bit. And we'll take another reading off of it. Now we're at 103. So yeah, these are very cool when you need to very slightly change a capacitor value. Where you would see these most often times is in a radio receiver circuits where you have to tune the intermediate frequency and things like that. And as far as I know, these are only available in the picofarad range, so they're not useful for a whole lot of stuff, but you know, remember your uh, remember your basic electronics physics. Capacitors in parallel will increase the capacitance value. So you could, in theory, stack up a couple of these or use one with a regular capacitor where you just, you know, add a little bit to the top or trim a little bit from the bottom, however you think would work for you. All right. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Oh, sound like the lock picking lawyer. Good channel. If you haven't watched it, check it out. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, big thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring these videos, and a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.